Well, hello and welcome to Monday Measures. <laughs> and and we're back to the to the house lights again. Ugh. <laughs> Kippy wants to say hi. <laughs> and and I got Mary here to do some uh, video for me, so maybe it'll be a little bit different. Um, yeah, we probably got dogs in there. <laughs> Um, today we're gonna make a roasted red pepper soup and some uh, keto savory waffles. So you need a waffle iron. If you don't have a waffle iron, I don't think you can make this. I don't know. Maybe you could put it in a pan and flip it over because it's just cheese and bread and stuff. Um, I don't know. Maybe a foreman. We'll see how thick it comes out. A panini so, press. <laughs> a panini press. <laughs> no, I don't think that would be flat enough. So, I don't know. See, see if you can figure it out. If if you don't have a waffle iron, and, you know, what what do you think would be best? I mean, we got like four different waffle irons here. Yeah, we got like a Pokemon one. Yeah, I'm not going to make Pokemon. Well, maybe I'll make some Pokemon ones for Heather. Yeah, yeah. We'll know which ones are here. <laughs> because that way... Um, you know, I'm going to, it's made with almond flour and I'm going to use the gluten-free flour for Heather because she's got the nut allergy. So, all right, let's get to it. <laughs> So today's Monday measure is going to be soup and it's a roasted red pepper soup. So I got to get these uh, bell peppers, even though they're not all red. <laughs> I'm going to get all six of those cut up and in the oven because they're going to roast while I'm doing other stuff. And to go with the red pepper soup, I'm going to make some uh, savory cheesy waffles. It's an all keto dinner. And it sounds like it's gonna be really yummy, like a like a alternative to uh, tomato soup and grilled cheese. <laughs> so the soup calls for um, roasted or sun-dried tomatoes, but I'm gonna put a little bit of this in there. I think that'll flavor it up good enough. And then um, it's supposed to have vegetable broth, but it's chicken broth and you know just do what you got with what you got and the garlic the red peppers the onions um the olive oil to saute the onions and celery goes in there too and then for the uh, savory waffles we've got cheese um, shredded cheddar cheese a couple of eggs uh, almond milk yeah that's unsweetened and um, I don't know about the vanilla flavor. Eh, whatever. I think it'll be savory enough for it won't, uh, you know, taste the vanilla. But uh, carrots and more celery. And then we got bacon, almond flour, um, cayenne, uh, sage, parsley, thyme, and um, some baking powder. And that should be it, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully I didn't forget anything. Oh, butter, you know, to cook everything in. So I got all my peppers washed. I'm gonna cut them up. It's Sunday, October 1st, you guys, and we hit 50 degrees today. I cannot believe it. I should have went outside and did all my yard work, but I got lazy. So today is Studio Gilby Day in the house. Mary's sitting around watching Studio Gilby. <laughs> huh? I think it's pronounced Ghibli. Mary said she thinks it's pronounced Ghibli. Hi, Omazaki. Hi, Omazaki. 
is the producer. Many hours later, <laughs> I'm just kidding, but that didn't take a long time to to chop. Um, that's a lot of peppers, you know, for the amount of, I think it's two and a half cups of uh, broth. So I'll probably be putting some extra broth in there. But um, I'm going to spread those out on a couple of cookie sheets. I put it in here to put some olive oil on there before I put it on the cookie sheets. And I'm going to put it on parchment paper because I don't want these things to stew in the oven. I want them roasted. I want them spread out as much as I can in a single layer so that way they roast really well. Okay, these peppers are gonna go in the oven at 400 degrees. I should have turned my convection thing on because I was gonna put two pans in there. I hope they do okay. Roasting, I put one to the back and one to the front and kind of offset them, see like that. See what happens. 40 minutes. These celery sticks said washed and ready to eat. And I pulled them out of the bag and they were pretty darn yucky looking. <laughs> so I don't think so. I washed them <laughs> again. We were watching a video on the E. coli epidemic in our food sources and they were talking to the people because now the practices are to pre-wash all of these foods before they go to market to make uh, the epidemic less um, 
you know, so it wouldn't happen as much. And um, they talk to the people that uh, are behind all of that, and they ask them, you know, what things they wouldn't eat and what things they would do. And they said that they always rewash their food. Um, anything that can be handled at the market, you know, like melons or stuff like that, you, they wash uh, the rinds <laughs> before, you know, the outside of it, before they even cut it. Some of them wash everything before they um, even store it in their refrigerator. It was interesting. And they, and they rewash all the pre-washed foods. Yeah, a whole bunch of them said they wouldn't even eat um, certain kinds of lettuces and things from the grocery store anymore. This is going to be some pretty chunky soup. I like that though. I like my soups to taste like stew. So for the waffles, I'm going to double the recipe. So I'm just going to chop all the vegetables in the food processor all at once. There's carrots and celery and green onions in there. And I put a little bit of chives because I was a little bit less on the green onions than I wanted to be. So I'm going to food process all of that. And then we'll just spoon out what we need for the recipe. That's what I want. I want it finely diced. And I did not want to chop more vegetables. <laughs> so I put a tablespoon in there. We'll be using uh, six tablespoons for each batch of waffles. Yeah, I was looking at that thinking that's not going to cook in the time those waffles are going to cook. And then I was like, oh yeah, you have to saute it. <laughs> so, so I'm going to saute these vegetables. <laughs> oh boy. Always something. So we're going to saute those vegetables in some butter. Probably about six minutes. Flipping everything out of there. Mm. Mm. I keep letting the steam out because it gets steamy in there. Well. What are you looking for? There are no crumbs over there. <laughs> so, while my peppers are roasting, I'm going to saute the celery and onions for for the soup. And once they cook down a little bit, I'll add some garlic. Piece of onion in there. 
Oh. Should have been chopped up. Somebody's gonna eat it. Does he smell good in here? Yeah. So if you're using whole garlic, um, it suggests roasting the garlic with the bell peppers, which would be really nice and yummy too. Mm -hmm. But I don't have whole garlic. Yeah, I use my my handy dandy squeeze it garlic. <laughs> cooked up. We're going to add, remember I'm doubling this batch, so I'm going to add a cup of that broth to it, and then we're going to cook it until the broth is almost gone. Mm. It's really close to his face. all of that liquid is mostly evaporated we're gonna set it aside and let it cool that's pretty darn hot it's gonna take a while to cool <laughs> bean 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 why are you because you're running back and forth that's why oh sorry <laughs> it's just a little bit longer on the roasted peppers Mm -hmm. So we're going to put a cup of almond flour in a bowl. And a cup of shredded cheese. I know this is not a cup. Got to use the old stuff up first. <laughs> yeah. Baking powder. Uh, one teaspoon of baking powder. Some salt. Some pepper. I got that really fine. <laughs> See the pepper and oh, what else did I need to do? Um, the paprika, Probably about a quarter teaspoon of that. Put 
good. He's going to parsley in there. Teaspoon of sage. Oh, I'm not a big sage fan. I should should have put a little bit less. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it'll turn out good. That's got a little vegetable. I feel like at this point you're like making some and sort of concoction. And thyme. Feels Halloween-y. <laughs> and then... Just checking the instructions. Stir it together and then add the eggs. Is it raining? Your face already got wet. Two eggs? Yes, we make that nice and gooey. So I need a half a cup of almond milk. And probably a quarter of a cup of bacon. Or four strips if you're making it. this fat vegetable mixture because I doubled it, remember? Mm -hmm. So the other half goes in the other batch. That look like half? Yep. <laughs> Stir all that up. because it's got the almond flour in there, remember? Right. Okay. Woo! I'm going to add these peppers. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Nice and roasted. Mm -hmm. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Without burning my fingers. Okay, careful, careful. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's not quite as brown. Should I let them go a little bit more, longer? Um, oh, the ones on the corner are pretty crispy. <laughs> That works pretty well, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay. Got all that in there. Um, here's where we would put our um, sun-dried tomatoes in there, but like I said, I'm going to put some of this creamy sauce. Ew. Yeah. <laughs> eh, make a mess while I'm at it. I think that'll make a nice flavor, huh? Yeah.
And there's three cups of chicken broth left in here. Not four, there's three. I forgot to click record, but she just put some lemon juice in there, too. My bad. <laughs> I was like, how much lemon juice was it? Um, a whole lemon. I don't know what. That's like a tablespoon, I think. Okay, yeah, she just kind of did a few squirts. I'm going to let that cook a little bit, and then we're going to... Remember I said it would be chunky, but we're going to make it thick, so we're going to put an immen uh, immersion blender to it. Mm, it's a really pretty color. It's like a squash soup almost. Yeah. Mm, it smells really good. The light just turned off. Oh, nice. So we're gonna spray each side of this really good. Good thing we let the dogs out. They'd be licking your feet. I know. <laughs> just to see if any butter spray fell down that way. And we're gonna put a half a cup of that on there. And it's not gonna go across the whole thing. Just gonna kind of spread it out a little bit. <laughs> Let's do this. This immersion blender is older than you, Mary. Yeah, he yeah. is. It's gonna. Oh, it looks like it's gonna come off there. It looks good. there you go there's your Monday measures <laughs> I hope you enjoy it um, Mary and I put a little bit more spice it was seemed like it was kind of bland and that's kind of weird for all those vegetables and things that were in there um, Mary put some of that um, Johnny's seasoning she put some of that in there And she said it was good. I put uh, my waffle in there. <laughs> A little bit of cheese. Oh, it did say 
the recipe said to put um, Frioche cheese on top. I don't know. It's like a milk milk cheese. Um, but I was thinking brie would go really good on top of that. What do you think, Mary? Brie? I think because it had like a little cheese on the recipe. I think brie would, would have gone really good on top of that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It would pair perfect with these waffles. We will be doing this again. I'm, um, yeah, this was really good. And it's... <laughs> she, she keeps getting after me to put the recipes in the tin up here. Yep. Okay. So, I hope you enjoy it. I hope you liked it. And, and there's your Monday measures for this week. And we'll see you later.